Okay, so we're going to start by uh, preparing the gauge. First off, going to use some uh, M prep conditioner just to give the uh, glass plate a good scrub. Start by trying to get it as clean as possible. Then we're going to do exactly the same with M prep neutralizer. Again, giving it a good scrub, trying to get the plate as clean as we possibly can. And just uh, just going to wipe off uh, some of the excess neutralizer here. Now get the gauge out. There's a little packet in there. Gauges are in individual packets. It does help if you just um, pinch the little packet. Helps you uh, get the gauge out. Then we've got a dull side and a shiny side. We want the dull side down and the shiny side up. So I'm going to put a, uh, a layer of tape on the gauge now. So I put the tape down and then smooth it over the gauge. That uh, then gives the gauge some protection. And then we can move on to uh, putting a line through the centre of the gauge. And we want a nice, uh, nice long line through that gauge. Just makes it a lot easier later on when you're uh, lining it up on the shaft. So we've got the line right down through the centre there. So now we're going to put a uh, another layer of tape over the top just to uh, protect the line and to uh, protect the uh, gauge from uh, or the tape from curling up when you pull it off the uh, plate. That's uh, now ready and prepared. We can put that aside. Now we can move on to uh, preparing the surface of the shaft. Now we're going to start by uh, marking a line on the shaft where we want to put the gauge. Nice long line. Using a bit of angle bar there just to keep it uh, straight down the centre of the shaft. Then we're going to start with some uh, 120 grit sandpaper in the area that we're going to be uh, preparing the, uh, or we want to put the gauge. And we're going to start here just doing a uh, nice circular random pattern. Keep on with the uh, the random pattern there. Helps to uh, helps the bonding of the uh, gauge, but it also uh, if you just go in one direction, it can force the uh, torque to follow the direction of the uh, all your scratches. If they're all in one direction, the the surface torque will naturally follow that direction. So uh, a nice random pattern stops that. Then wiping from the centre out each time, being careful not to uh, let your fingers touch any of the uh, wipe that you're actually going to put on the shaft. Again, another random pattern. A little bit of 120 grit there. You may, on oh, a nice clean smooth shaft you may only need a couple of bits of 120 grit on a uh, an older dirty shaft you may need uh, several bits to get down to a nice clean smooth bit of uh, 
metal. And again, from the centre, wiping out. So from the cleanest part to the dirtiest part each time, making sure again that we're not touching any of the wipe or the tissue that we're using to clean that area. And once we got down to a nice smooth surface, then we move on to the 400 grit. And again, nice circular random pattern, but this time in a slightly smaller area than before. Again, on a uh, steel shaft, you may need to use more than uh, two lots of 400 grit to, to get down to a nice, clean, smooth surface. And wiping from the center out. If you happen to drop any tissue or the gauze, then just discard that so that there's no chance of you accidentally wiping any contamination onto the, uh, the area that you're preparing. And another bit of uh, 400 grit being used here. As you can see, still nice small random pattern. Gives a really good uh, key for the, uh, the adhesive. Then again, wiping from the centre out, being careful not to touch the uh, surface of the wipe or the gauze that you're using. Move on to a wet rub, which again is with the 400 grit sandpaper, but this time we're going to introduce some of the M Prep conditioner. Uh, dripping a small amount on and rubbing at the same time and continuing to drip a small amount of conditioner on all the time you're rubbing just helps to clear away some of the uh, contamination and also the dirt that you're producing as you're rubbing And give it a wipe off with uh, tissues. Again, being careful not to touch the area of the tissue that you're going to be wiping with. From the centre out. Now we need to uh, burnish a line on the shaft where we're going to put a strain gauge. And the easiest thing for that the ballpoint pen and the uh, angle bar that we used to mark earlier just a couple of runs one each way that's enough to uh, burnish a line on the shaft you can just about see there 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean that area with some cotton buds and some conditioner and neutralizer. So starting off with the conditioner, giving it a good scrub, sort of dripping some more conditioner on as we're going, just giving it a good scrub and rotating the cotton bud around as we're going so that you can actually see that you're getting the contam contamination off. Then again, another cotton bud, good scrub with the conditioner. Usually a couple of uh, the cotton buds is good enough to uh, get all the, the majority of the dirt off. And then we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to wipe from the centre out in both directions. And now we're going to repeat that, but this time with the neutralizer. And depending on how much you got off the first time, you may need one, possibly two cotton buds. Doing exactly the same, giving it a scrub and rotating the cotton bud around. If it comes away clean on the first one, you only need one. If there's still a little bit of contamination there, then use a second one. And again, wiping. With the tissues from the center out in both directions then it's now ready for the gauge and you want to be getting the gauge on as soon as you can 